And we're back. So, uh, when we last left off, the players had just killed Ga Jasper Ganu, and they still have a little bit of the current floor they're on left to explore. So, where to from here? I think first to another issue, unless if my PK is in the way, of oh, the yeah. potential stone sense tangling. Yep. Yes, there does in fact appear to be a door there. It appears to head off into another hallway. Hey guys, there's another door over here. Let's go. My voice gives me super strength. My hair gives me super strength. Oh boy, a door. Yep. Oh boy, oh boy, a door, a door. There your procedure go. Where are we at? Oh, we're way oh. up there. Yep. This 20 foot by 20 foot room appears to be a sitting room. Mats have been spread out on the floor to offer some comfort to those sitting on the hard stone, and they seem to be aligned to look towards the center of the room. Four large rats look up from the meal, their meal of scraps to glare at your entrance. Hi, Wads. Yep. My god, you rats don't stand a chance. <laughs> I see you trying to phase through that wall, wizard. Yes. You are not high enough level to do that yet. It's only a matter of time. Good lord, one of the dire rats is very fast. I will move Wait. here. I'm sort of floating in midair. Hang on. Right. He will attempt to bite uh, Bogolf and fail miserably. Yeah. Alex is up. Alex can't fire into combat, can he? Uh, he can, but he would be at a minus four penalty. Although, not have the potential of hitting Bogolf, ever. Nope. Yep, that will miss. Uh, Pripyat, you are up. Pripyat is going to... ready in action until after Kurobar goes. Okay. Alright. Alright... And Dire Rat. Uh, Getty is up. Oh, Getty is up. Yep. Getty can't really... We're all kind of trapped in this hallway, aren't we? Yeah, that does kind of happen sometimes. Okay, Getty is going to start hauling ass in this direction. Okay. Uh... Kurovar. All right. I um. Is there? Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Can I step into the same square as the door? Uh, you would both be taking squeezing penalties if you try and fought, but yes, you could. Um. Sure. Let me, let me just step here, I guess. Okay. Uh, that will provoke from the rat. Yep, that's fine. Go ahead. Does an 11 hit you? Uh, yeah. Really, actually. Uh, I will need a fortitude save. Shit. Well, I'll have to look up Phil Fever now. Oh boy, I want to see what this does. Dire Rat. Um, let me roll something here. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything immediately wrong. 
Hurts like hell. Okay. That's unpleasant. Yep. Um, I think I can get all three of them with a 15-foot cone, but I'm not sure. Should be able to. In that case, uh, color spray. Okay. Uh, DC 16 saving throws. Let me make sure that's actually 16. Yeah, DC 16 saving throws. Two of them make it. Shit. The one in the middle doesn't. What sort of bad stuff happens to the one in the middle? As usual, unconscious, blinded, stunned. Okay. And for, what uh, three rounds. And does anything happen to the one that is, uh, or the two that made it? Yeah. Alright. They're fine. Alright. Crud bone mail. Uh, it's, it's, uh, Pripyat's up next. Ah, oh, yes. Pripyat. What is the, uh, what is a competence bonus? Um, it is just a a bonus equal to that value to whatever skill or attack you're trying to, or the spell says. Basically, it's a sudden rush of insight from either, you know, sudden rush of knowledge of how something works or just magical power. Okay. Um, are there any mundane objects lying around? Rocks, dirt. Um, rocks are probably the best bet. Since I'm sort of unable to act from back here, I'm going to go ahead and create drug using a first level spell. Create what? Drug. Ah, I see. I'm going to create red flower leaves. Okay. And what do these do? Um, if I ingest them, um... I can use a move action to focus my attention on a target, and if I attack, I get a plus four competence bonus on any attack roll, and it lasts ten minutes. Okay. Um, anything else? That's it. All right. Crud bone meal. Well, the good news is the wizard has provoked one of the attacks of opportunity. So if I was to move here, I would still get an attack of opportunity? Uh, you would get one from this dire rat, but not from this dire rat. I'll just do it. Okay. Card's disposable. And immune to the bad part of the attack. He will take one point of damage. I mean, that. Alright. And since he has no metabolism and, you know, vital organ system, he is immune to diseases. Awesome. Alright, that's him. Oh wait, no, he won't take that, because that was the stunned one. Or the unconscious one that got color sprayed. Oh, so he's got that hit point back. Yep. Nice. This one's the one that can do something. And this time, he'll, this one will hit for four damage. Hmm. But, uh, Bogolf, you're up. <coughs> that one in front of you is helpless. You can coup de gr or is not helpless, it's just a rat. Ignore me. Ignore you? Okay. Alright. Um, I'll just do a normal attack on it, I guess. Um, that will sadly miss it. That day. But, uh, dire rat in front of you that will attempt to bite you. Does a 16 hit a your AC? Uh, let me check on 16. Does dodge me that, that plus one uh, AC against the guy I was attacking? Um, it's against your target of your choice, I believe. But yes, yeah. it's plus one. All right, and that would just make it so there'd be a no. Okay. Because normally it's 16, but yeah. that would give me the plus one, though. Yeah. Uh, Alex is up. Okay. So I'm looking up the addiction table. Um, Alex oh, yeah. Try to, yeah. He's going to try to crossbow again. Okay. That will sadly miss. Um, person on magical cocaine, you are I haven't up. ingested it, I just created it. 
person who's about to be on magical cocaine. I'm going to, uh, shoot, that's a pretty high addiction. When, when the addiction rating is extreme, it's not very good, is it? No, probably not. Is it rated according to addiction potential? Do the stimulant drinks is negligible addiction rating? Quality is all the same. A stronger drugs rating. So they get a fort DC of 25 to beat it. That's probably not something you're going to make. No, no it's not. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold off on taking that drug right now. Okay. I'm going to, um... Now, if I go into that room, I'm actually going to get... I can't, I can't move that far, can I? I only have 20. I'm, I am useless. I pass. All right. Um, the dire wrath that is horribly, horribly inconvenienced is going to not have a turn. And this dire rat will move over and attempt to chomp the wizard again. Missing! Thank God. Uh, Getty is up. Getty bursts through the door and attacks this dire rat. Oh, yeah. See, Getty's an intelligence skeleton. He knows what's up. However, he's very inept at combat. Uh, Kiravar, you are up. I guess I will, um... Hmm. Not be in the death zone for much longer? I'm gonna go ahead and color spray the three in front of me. Facing that direction. Uh, will you be casting defensively? Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, concentration check. Hold on. Shit. That will fail. Which means I believe they are allowed their attacks of opportunity. No, that means the spell fizzles. Oh, right, yeah. Spell fizzle beef. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Uh, anything else? That's, uh... I think that's it for me. Alright. As far as what I can actually do. Crud bone meal. Okay. It's gonna whack this rat with a shovel. Okay. Please hit. Oh. He hasn't hit a damn thing all game. Well, the one that he just tried to hit with a shovel will try and bite him. Missing horribly. Uh, Bogolf, you're up. Wait. Are probably still alive? He's probably not about to be. That hits. And oh, I... only the damage up. Well, no, that is enough to kill him. Yay! And he was the one at the top of the initiative. Uh, Alex is up. Now he can shoot without penalty. He can? Yep. Awesome. I'm gonna totally plug that diorat full of holes. Don't roll a one. All right. You have killed it. Uh, you're up, Pripyat. Okay. Um, that means I can move into combat now, can't I? Mm-hmm. Moving up here. All right. Whacking a rat. You hit the rat. You have maimed the rat into death. Uh, Getty is up. Uh, I would suggest actually five footing stepping, yeah, five foot stepping right there. Because if he does, that will hit. Yay. You have killed the the dire rats, the CR one half dire rats. That are still at the, f the fourth floor for some reason. They thought that was a good idea. Yep. 
Well, the dire rats are dead. Uh, but there does not appear to be anything of note in this room. Other than rat corpses. Oh. Well, there did are we two... examine it thoroughly? Or is that just a cursory look at it? Um... I will save you the time that's examining it thoroughly. Uh, the, other than these two doors and the door you came in, that's about all there is in this room. Alright, no stone sentry things. Sweet. Nope. Alright. Well, unless if anyone minds, I'm going to do my good old um, odds is north, even to south. Roll. I said roll. Odds north. All right, let me quick grab a skull to mark rooms that have been cleared. Um, standard or procedure, although I doubt I need it to the door. Yeah, you don't detect anything, and the door does open fairly silently. I'm gonna kind of go around, up to this corner and kind of see, like, see, look around the corner, but don't go around it. Yep, that will trigger stone sense. Ooh. Most of these drugs are pretty useless. Wait, no, that won't. That that will or that won't trigger that. That will trigger my inability to draw maps correctly. So, technically, how this hallway is supposed to go is it's supposed to go one more tile this way and then come down, and you're Whoa. supposed to be able to see this door. I drew a hallway incorrectly. Horribly, so horribly really incorrectly. I was supposed to find this in a secret room. Let's see. There's nothing interesting in this room, I don't think. Um, hmm. This 20-foot by 15-foot room contains two cots, both of which are occupied by sleeping creatures. At the foot of each cot is an open chest filled with old cloaks and clothing. You could probably, if you were silent, kill him now. Alright, I'll do that. Kill what now? These two things. Are the rats? Yep. Sneak attacks. Um, go ahead and roll me a move silently if you'd like. Alright. Well, fuck. I'm assuming that there wasn't the iron back. No, they're asleep. They don't seem to stir. Why? Sleeping okay. bestows a minus 10 to all listen checks. Oh, no. Yeah. So, let's go over here. Here, I'll probably should go over this guy. You will automatically critical hit if you're a coup de grawing. Plus eight damage, right? Yep. So that's critical. Okay. Plus sneak. Out of comedy's sake, you couldn't have made the fortitude save, but you didn't have enough hit points. Okay. Let me roll something. One of them starts. The other one starts to come too, as the uh, the one gurgles to death, but uh, he does appear to be helpless still at the moment. So I can just scoot right here. Mm-hmm. No critical damage. Let's sneak attack. Oh, fuck, there's only 11. That's more than enough to kill him. Okay, wait. Alright, guys, don't worry about this room. Is there anything interesting in it? Uh, I'll find out. Mm, ten copper and six gold. Otherwise, not much. Okay, uh, gold is gold. gold. Okay. There we go, procedure. Pull the rules. That door technically doesn't exist. Oh, right, 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 right. No, the... Oh, for the... Yeah, which and, way? Oh, crap. Alright, uh... Can I use a create drug again? 
Uh, if you'd like. All right. I see your, um, Don't odds. mind me. I'm just I'm just book browsing. Odds west, uh, even south. South it is. South <sighs> south. I hope I would replace that door as the door leads to the room we've been into. Yep. South of south south south. So, uh, go ahead and roll me stone sense. Uh. Okay. Um. That will be enough to find the room. Yeah, the secret door swings slowly open, slowly open on silent hinges to reveal a 15 foot by 20 foot room. The only object in this room are small pedestals made of stone that stand near the north wall in a clay urn that rests on it. Uh, if anyone would like, they can make a spellcraft roll, an intelligence roll, or both of them. I'm gonna do intelligence. Yeah, you guys want to join me down here? I think I found something interesting that I don't want to do with anybody, so. Alright. Guys? Can we be alone? You said spellcraft roll? Yep. Alright. This is a Thomas roll. Okay. Are we checking out here? Hmm? Holy shit! Next roll. What is the? Uh... I, I I found a secret room with some weird columns and pottery. Yep. Like weird pottery. Was there any weird like symbols and stuff? Yep. There appears to be some sort of religious and arcane symbols on the uh, the pot. Well, let's see. I've got um. Uh, Decipher scripts, a lot of arcana, a lot of uh, religion, what's going to be most appropriate? Um, each of them would be equally appropriate. Alright, so I'll just put a synergy skill in there. Ah, yes, the plus 14 bonus. Um, they all appear to be warnings about not touching the urn. Return the slab. Sort of. No, what do? Do you attempt to touch the slab, or...? I'm going to uh, detect magic the slab. No, it's actually a pot, but... Yeah. Oh, um, well, yes. Just keeping with the theme here. Let's see. Uh, it is universal magic, and it appears to be some sort of binding. Now, if only the person inside of this clay pot was Isaac. And we'd have the binding of Isaac. <laughs> so, um, so just some sort of binding. Um, and if I just continue to stare at it for a couple more turns, do we get any more detail about it? Mm, not really. Um. It's fairly strong magic. Other than that, it's just general sort of binding magic. Oh, Trovar says to the rest of them then, Well, it's, uh... The urn is radiating some very strong magic. Uh, some sort of binding, though. Unfortunately, I don't have any pearl powder that I could use to more specifically identify it, but certainly something powerful about it. So, what do? I uh, imagine that I could be get to do this. You can really pick something that can do that. Hmm. You can leave it be. You can keep on, keep it on. You can try and break it. You can try and move it. Could be worth lots of experience points. Poke it. 
We should poke it. Look, Kurvar is pretty thoroughly, um, I don't know, in, interested in this. Was it, there any other, like, indication in any of the, the runes and stuff around that gave any sort of idea or detail into what that stuff is? No, but there have been all of those ranting and ravings you found along the way about, you know, horrible evil kept in the, the depths of this place. Which probably shouldn't, uh, um, uh, I don't know. Thought you were all about, uh, horrible, terrible evil. Yeah, I am, but just not when it desecrates the dead. It's an urn. We don't necessarily know that it's the dead. Well, urns hold decided. ashes. They frequently do. They don't only hold ashes. Sometimes they hold chocolate milk mix. <laughs> <laughs> to really screw with people. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, I'm looking up the rules to this, um, this drug creation thing again. Mm -hmm. So it turns out that I didn't actually do what I thought I did. Mm. It all works differently from that. Essentially what it means is that I can get high off mundane objects. I and see. Depending, and depending on the mundane object, it, it's a different drug effect. Ah. Uh, out of curiosity, what was the drug effect you would have gotten then? Well, I had apparently attempted to get high off of a stone. And I mean, let me look up stone, because I do... Do, do you know, get stones? Ah... Uh, I see what it you did just, there. Stone, you can just get high off of... Uh, uh, so what's Vodair? That's kind of bizarre that you can just get high off of... Uh, what's a spell? Mundane objects. Yeah, well, even a spell to make that, like... Why doesn't the spell just get you high? Because it's Book of Wild Darkness. It doesn't have to make sense. Fucking riddle me that, Batman. The, uh, the spell effect, like... It depends on what mundane objects you have. Now, I could get high off of the air itself, and that's a different effect. If that makes sense. About as much sense as anything else in the Book of Wild Darkness. I don't pretend to understand it. I just... Okay, Voldair. <laughs> um, what, is it? what do you do? I would have gotten a plus two alchemical bonus on intimidate checks and saving throws against fear for 1d4 hours. Mm. But it would have gotten a minus to a minus four to diplomacy and bluff for two d four hours. Ah, I would experience a mild euphoria and fierce confidence. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. And if I'd taken more than one dose in a four hour period, I'd become catatonic. Oh uh, yeah, that's always good. No, you still have the decision at hand as to what you're going to do to the urn. Do we want to figure out... Can I roll, like, a religion check to see what the hell this thing is? Um, you could make wisdom or intelligence checks if you'd like. Alright. Did I learn anything? Um... This is more than likely some sort of sealing ritual that they used to get rid of that vampire they had been talking about. Huh. Who wants to fight a vampire? Fighting. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, metagame, you did mention something about a combat encounter that by all means we should be avoiding. Well, hang on, how many hit dice does a vampire usually have? You uh, cannot turn a vampire. Well, actually, you can give me a knowledge religion check. If you uh, would like. Knowledge religion. Where's my religion score? Religion. Oh, I, I get plus nine to that. Good golly, Miss Molly. Um, well, the lowest amount of hit die a vampire could have is five. And what is their turning resistance? Do you have a turn resistance? Yes, you do. Uh, the weakest level vampire is considered to be the equivalent of a ninth level character. Or nine hit die uh, undead. Mm. That's harsh. Yep. 
Well, do you guys feel like fighting a vampire? How broken do you think we are? Not that broken. I mean, we're Not pretty high broken. level for this area. Well, I'll tell you what else you know. Uh, vampires have the ability to drain blood. Uh, as long as they have have you grappled, they can drain, uh, start draining the blood from you, healing themselves. Uh, they can call lesser creatures of the night, including rat swarms, bat swarms, or a pack of wolves. Uh, I think they, we got this, guys. They can. They have a dominating gaze attack. What the hell? Why is my iPod starting to play music? Hold on. iPod, what are you doing? That was terrifying. Uh, they have a dominating gaze. Uh, they can create spawn. Uh, they deal negative levels of damage if they make physical contact with you. We will get dominated and turned into spawn. There, there's basically this is a terrible, terrible mistake. I agree. Sam. Uh, they can, uh, they can form the shape of a bat, dire bat, wolf, or dire wolf. Uh, they cat, have bat, bat, cat, wolf, cat, bat, rat, cat, basically <laughs> any of those combinations of things. Uh, this is of that gargoyle from that one dungeon we did. That gargoyle is so misappropriately leveled. It's ten le or it's ten CR higher than the written CR. I'm pretty sure that that's just like a bug in the uh, <laughs> the three five translation. Probably. Uh, let's see. It also has damage reduction to silver and magic, so you have to have magical silver weapons to damage it in any capacity oh, in silver. melee. Uh, it has fast healing, and once it's killed, it assumes gaseous form. And will attempt to fly to its coffin before uh, before regenerating back to a uh, full body. We know where its coffin is. No idea. We should search for that in the mines. If we find that, we can cripple it, can't we? Ah, uh, yes. You could do a fair amount of damage to it. Awesome. Let's go do that. Okay. Let me quick mark this room as. Wait, kind how of clear. Managed to catch it sleeping in its coffin. Well, it's not it sleeping is... in its coffin. It's uh, bound in this uh this urn. Uh, but... but if we find its coffin, we can do damage to it. Uh, you would you would have to destroy its co its coffin. Uh, here, let's go into slaying a vampire. A vampire reduced to hit points of zero or lower is incapacitated. Uh. That will cause it to go back towards its coffin. Uh, if you expose a vampire to direct sunlight, it becomes disoriented. Uh, and it is utterly destroyed in the next round if it cannot escape the light. Uh, similarly, if you immerse a vampire in running water, uh, it, is or it is destroyed three rounds after the immersion begins. Uh, if you drive a wooden stake through a vampire's heart, it slays it instantly. However, it returns to life if the stake is removed unless you destroy the body. Wait a minute, would unholy water do anything to it? Uh, make it more powerful. Oh. Yep. I might have something in my box of magical goodies that could help with this, but I'm not sure. Oh, here's more special qualities it has. It's resistant to cold and electric. Uh, and it can use spider climb as an extraordinary ability. Oh, and it's got a plus four turn resistance. If I can find myself some Terran Brandy, I can get plus two to my effective caster level for about a solid several hours. That could be helpful. That might put me over the edge. I don't know, is, is Rebuke Undead determined by caster level? It is not. Oh, well, screw that then. I can't control it, so that's out. <sighs> I don't know, guys. What do you want to do? Let's uh, maybe avoid it for now and come back in a level or so. Yeah. yeah how close are we to leveling now? Um, still a fair distance off. Okay. 
sometimes the better part of dis- or the better part of valor is discretion. You could just leave this to be uh, a case of, uh, uh, or just yeah, you could leave this to be an SCP, someone else's problem. This is someone else's problem, indeed. So that applies to SCP, I'm like, which one? Technically, it qualifies as an SCP. It has been secured, it has been contained, and it is protecting, or being protected. That sounds like a, that sounds like a done-like dinner to me. Yeah, let's uh, find something else to deal with. Okay. Uh, Vampire is not hurting anybody. Yep, not at all. Well, there is a door down here. And you could continue along this way and loop back to where you started. Oh my god. I have a spell that can turn my hand into a small monstrous spider. That doesn't seem useful. Unless you're trying to be, like, world champion sock puppet. Or sock puppeteer. Caster's hand becomes a small monstrous spider. I don't understand it either. (laughs) <laughs> that is such an odd and specific spell it's called spider hand of course it is <laughs> just, just, of course it has to be called spiders they're uh, spider hand well uh, what? which way do you guys want to go oh, I detach my hand which transforms into a small spider that's I guess a little better. Caster can see through his eyes and can travel 20 feet, 20 feet per level away from him. That thing goes fast! If that's 20 feet per level? Good lord. It can travel 20 feet per level away. Oh, oh, like oh. It has to stay within. Ah. Like an 80 foot square of me. Okay, never mind. That's not as uh, entertaining as I thought. Hand is restored when the spell ends, that's good, but I take one D6 points of damage, holy crap. Yep. You're losing your hand. Oh. If I direct it to return, I take no damage. So it's only if it runs out. Hmm. Well, I can get spider legs. (laughs) Well, uh... While you're on the path to becoming Loth, which way does the party want to go? (laughs) Uh, where, uh, or where else do we have to go? I guess to the to the west here. Okay. What's uh, what's the deal with this door here, Eric? Appears to be unlocked and worked stone door like all the other ones so far. So uh, open it carefully, I guess. All right. This 20 by 25 foot room appears to be a common meeting room. Numerous soiled cloth pillows lie scattered on the floor. There is nothing of value in this room. No. Well, I mean, unless you want those pillowcases, they're worth one copper a piece. But now, there's a, a door up here. A door here, and a continuing path down this way. Let's check check out uh, this place. Okay. Try to do the standard procedure. Yep. Well, the door doesn't appear to be locked. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. Noted. This 20-foot by 15-foot room contains only a single straw cot in its sleeping occupant. The goblin is snoring and snorting in his restless sleep, wrestling with his pillow. Oh, this thing is going to die. I'm going to totally sleep in there. Okay. Um, roll another move silently. Another one? Yep. That was just for opening the door. All right. Well, fuck. No, he doesn't appear to hear you. He is thrashing about violently. Well, then, um, go behind him and, uh... What else is going on here? Um, go behind him and I'll just do that. Plus, wait, 
Okay, you have killed him. Let me move his token over there. to the map. And place him where you you have brutally murdered him. He is dead. Also, technically, this hallway is supposed to connect up to this one, but that's also kind of a moot point because there's this door and this door. The doors. Yep, the bears. Did we ever go in here? Uh, you do not know that room exists, and you did not go that way now. Okay. But I guess we keep going north then. Yep. Which will bring you to a path in the road, uh, branching this way or this way. And it's up to you guys to decide. Where do you want to go? So... Check yeah. out yeah. Yeah. this one. Okay. I follow. All right. Uh, the door does not appear to be locked. And let's see. This 15 foot by 20 foot room appears to be a private bedroom. All right, I'll note that. A small table and two small chairs are this room's only furnishing. Oh, a single straw cot, a chest of clothes, a small table, and two small chairs are this room's only furnishing. The short humanoid sitting at the table throwing dice with a cup looks up with a grin at you. Seems that I have myself some visitors. Pity that I have to kill you before I get to roll. I get to dice away your money. He says as he pulls out a beautiful axe and attacks. You are not actually an interesting goblin, but you have an interesting story. Can you make an interesting story? And he appears to uh, be ready to kill. And ball golf is up first. Well, I think I'm going to stab you first. So, let's get back. That will hit. And pretty no edge. And I'm assuming you're moving moving up next to him to shoot him with uh, a, or stab him with a rapier. One. He cannot uh, attack of opportunity. This is the first round. So he's also flat-footed and sneak-attackable. Oh, sweet. Alright, I'll try that then. But it's all 10 damage. Oh, the rapier will pierce into his stomach and uh, cause him to slowly start bleeding out. Dying. But that's it. Yep. That's one dead goblin. Uh, on his, good lord, on his body you find a masterwork hand axe, studded leather armor, a ring of protection plus one, and two bone dice worth one gold piece each, and some amount of coinage, uh, four or ten, ten copper and sell seven gold. He was kind of rich. Ring of Protection, who would use that? Uh, anybody. Yeah, yep. anyone could. And it is definitely beneficial for me. Maybe, considering how often I've been actually in close combat. A wizard would benefit greatly from this. Wizard needs food badly. Needs <laughs> protection badly. It's a plus one? Yep. Plus one condom of Trojan. Yeah. That would be a very strange magical item. And I'm sure there's a book that has it in it. Oh yeah, I think I'm There is a book that has it in it. I'll it some more. Sadly. It's not official, of course, but... But it follows the rules pretty closely. Mm. Well, it falls them closer than Book of Vile Darkness, at any rate. Heading down to the south, I'm going to guess? Yep. Sure. Why not? 
and my little entourage here. Yep. <clears throat> okay. I can save you some time. The or the door is uh, not trapped, and the room is not locked. But uh, you can make a move silently to open the door if you'd like. Okay. Uh, the sound of snoring echoes off the walls of this 15 foot by 20 foot room. Wait, Single stro- Hmm? Sorry. You, you see something more. Sorry. Yep. Down here. Okay. Wait. Uh, Where's my character? He is up here. Oh, thank you. I'm going to keep the trying to move, uh, yeah. towards. The sounds of snoring echo off the wall of this 30 foot by 40 foot room. A single straw cot and chest of clothes are this room's only furnishing. A sleeping goblin lies on the cot. A naked longsword near his dang, near his dangling hand. A small, a steel breastplate rests next to the wall on the west side of the door. I don't want to know anything about this goblin's naked dangling longsword. <laughs> yes, well, deal with it. How big is this breastplate? Um, it appears to be medium size. Would that be like a full... That's not full plate, obviously, but would that be better than scale mail? Uh, I do not believe so. Right. Equipment, armor... Um, scale... Oh, no, it is! It is Breastplate is plus five, and, and scale mail is plus four. Awesome. I need this. Well, can I try to sneak in there and uh, slice and Okay. You can attempt uh, move silently. You have made it no problem. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. That alone is enough to kill him. Well, I'll shoot just out of the rest just in case. You have slain yet another... Um, thing. Goblin. Goblin. Yeah, that thing. Does the breastplate have any special, like, like, does it cause... Am I able to move faster than 20? Uh, you are not. Does it do anything different than scale mail other than add the armor? Mm, nope. Can I just go ahead and equip it then? If you'd like to. Uh, that's going to take some time, but yes, I would like to. Yep. Not as long as putting on full plate. Which I intend to purchase after this adventure is over. At least uh, start on um, liquidating that silver. That massive amount of silver. Good lord. A massive, massive amount of silver. Well, there's only a little left to explore. There is this room up here, and potentially this room. What room? This one up here. And this one, if you ever find it. Let's go north. Okay. Can we find a room number? Can I consolidate my undead into, like, one undead? You would have to be able to make undead to do that. Oh. It is slightly difficult to play a necromancer sometimes. All these confusing rules, and then there's the ethics involved. And you gotta find the right components. Gotta turn a paladin into a morgue after he dies. Yeah, that's that's. Oh not wait, no, that's only me. Never mind. That paladin was so pissed. <laughs> Although fitting, because he was one of the mass murdering, lawful, stupid paladins. <laughs> Long story. Middle of the battlefield, said something stupid to a necromancer. Now he's a morgue. Forever indentured in servitude to that necromancer. Uh, upon an ent... Oh, uh, are you going to standard operating procedure the door? Yes, let me let the uh, standard okay. procedure... Upon entering this 20-foot by 20-foot room, the smell of burning sage and death assaults your senses. A thick cloud or thick clouds of black smoke hang in still air for, over burning candles and bubbling flasks of colored liquids. 
Potion shelf on the north wall contains nearly every type of spell component imaginable in small glass jars. A goblin wearing spectacles looks down a length of thin wood as he continues his work on noticing your entrance. Not noticing your entrance. Proper English. I, I can do it sometimes. Sometimes. Yep. So, what do? You have to murder the goblin. Yep. Potentially. Is he hearing? Or do I think that it's not like? He does not hear you. Or at least he does not hear the door open. Right, so I have to do the roll. Fuck. He might be able to compo or to oppose that. What is being clicked or kachunked? My yep. space bar? He does not hear. He is unaware. Well, Let me put his token down. He is a wizard. Wizards aren't known for their perception. Guys, try to backstab him. Like the goblins. Also, you get to enjoy his name. Well, that's uh, probably simple enough to simply stick him in the back. Just yeah. uh, bring back his spellbook. Oh, yeah. I have no use for some things. I will go leave you and okay. shrink. He is Wait. not helpless. Hold on. Oh, what? You will still have to roll to hit him, and if you fail to kill him this round, it will be con our initiative. He is uh, working, but not asleep. Okay, so 18 to attack, and I roll my damage, so I'll leave that there in case I hit. Alright, uh, you do hit. Alright, so that's 9 damage. Okay, he is still up, but now he is very angry. Uh, have you moved your token next to him? Uh, yeah. What's up, bro? Uh, Getty is up first. Are oh, you leaving people out of the initiative? Because you were moving your token... That, that takes me out of the initiative? If you're moving it when I try and roll initiative, yes. Yes, it does. That's screwed up. Yep. Okay. Wait, so, hold on a second. Oh, wait, there he is. Oh, he's second. God damn it. Yep. I hear a dog scratching at my door. I bet I know which dog that is. It's more scratch, 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 scratch. Come on. Hey, golden retriever, over here. Stop trying to retrieve things in my room. Uh, uh, what is Getty going to do, since Getty is up first? The only thing Getty knows how to do. Sword people to death. Okay. That will hit him and do some amount of damage. Hi. Yeah, you want attention, don't you, Golden Retriever? Ah. Now, the fun begins. Oh, God. He's angry at me. He's angry at me. Uh, let's see. He will attempt to cast defensively. Hopefully he will not fail this. What does that do? Uh, it means that he this spell does not ca provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh, what penalty? Uh, he has to make a DC 13 uh, concentration check, which he makes. Okay, now I get to find the line tool. That's a wall, that's a line. How much is this going to hurt? A lot. Oh no. Oh no. I'm out of the room, so I should be okay, right? Right? Um, if you are in that template, you will be hurt. What is he firing off? Lightning bolt. Ah, shit. Uh, he fires a 24-point lightning bolt along that line. If you can make a DC 17 reflex save, you will half the damage. Or in the case of Bogolf, if you make it, you will take no damage, and if you don't make it, I think you take half damage. 
believe that's a how a regular evasion works. Uh, reflex, you said? Yep. Shit. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead, too. Wait, what, wait what's the reflex to make, sorry? Uh, 17. Ooh. So basically, you just TPK'd us. Seems yeah. like it. Well, how so far gonna, into the negatives? I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that one module reroll. Right, you can if you'd like. Uh, you For can make him reroll damage. damage. Make you reroll damage. Yeah, he did roll surprisingly well. Let me reroll damage. Fourteen. That's reasonable. That's much better. How far into negatives would you be, Sam? Um. And I'm gonna take. Can Let's I take see, another on. one of those uh, rerolls for whoever has the highest reflex? Who has the highest reflex here? Uh, I have plus seven. What's your HP? Oh uh, well, after that, that, uh, after that, that should be negative one. All right. Um. You would at least not be dead yet, wizard. Um. Let's see. Does Crud Bone Meal get a reflex save? Uh yes, yes he would. And so does Getty. Well, Getty, it's kind of moot. Yeah. Getty's just dead. And Crudbone Meal is hurting. Is he okay. dead? Um, Crudbone Meal? No, he's not. He's only taking 14 points of damage. But, um... I forget how much he had, though. Uh, he had only taken, I think, 4 points of damage total. Okay, so he's down to six. Yeah. Well, you do still have two floating rerolls, and this is potentially the last encounter? Unless you guys want to go fight the vampire. No, have vampires. Very We're good on that. Uh, what do you guys... Yeah. Would you guys mind if I used one of the rerolls on his defensive concentration check earlier? No, because he's got a plus 10 to that. He would have oh, to roll does? a 1 to yeah. a 3. Huh. Yeah. Is his HP accurate? Uh, yes, you guys have put in the smackdown. You have dealt 12 points of damage to him already. As long because... as potentially two people stay up, you should be able to finish him. Well, that would be me because I'm going to be negative 1. <clears throat> uh, me and uh, Crud are pretty much the only ones that actually still have our feet at this point. Yep. Sam, are you dead or are you bleeding out? I am bleeding out. Okay. I will be dead in two rounds if something is not done. I need to seriously consider my uh, spell book here. Okay. Um... Henry James, come on. Stop trying to retrieve things off of my floor. I know that's what you're bred to do, but... I, I suppose I can't trade in a reroll for a uh, I use a health potion. You could reroll to try and redo your your fortitude save or your reflex save. What was the reflex save? You have a fifty five percent chance to make it. Uh, it is a seventeen or higher. So you need ten or ten through twenty. Guys, should I go for it? Go for what? Doing the reroll. If I reroll my reflex, I could potentially evade it totally. I have a 55% chance to make it. My initial roll failed it. Yep. Go for it. Okay. I'm, the, I'm not going to. I don't trust the macro now, though. I'm just going to type it manually. Trust me why. Remember. We still have Alex. That's true. Yeah. That, that will miss by one. No! Damn. I don't want to use the last reroll for another stupid attempt. Let me remove Getty because no matter how what he rolls, he can't make that. And it just explodes in the bones. Yep. Um, 
Unless you guys have any other rerolling you'd like to do, it will be Crud Bone Meal's turn. I think this is it, fellas. GG. Crud Bone Meal. Okay, give me one second. Mm -hmm. Trying to see if this Book of Vile Darkness has any like pinch hits I can use, but I don't think it does. This does stupid yeah. things. Like you don't have a, uh, a heal spell you can throw on me, really? I have heal spells, but I don't think you want me to heal you while the big bad is still up. Um, if you heal me, I can, like, deal with him. Oh, you can? I have spells. I have substantial spells. I have spells, you know. Okay. So then if you heal me after, after that, I can play through the back seven. Well, it's Crud Bone Wheel's turn right now, so he's got to... As much as he wants to, he can't help you right now. Yeah. Unless he has a heal check, but I don't think he does. He does not. He's going to attempt to shovel his way out of this one. He will miss. As per norm, or the norm. Um, roll me a d100, Sam. In case you might self-stabilize. <laughs> You do not self-stabilize. Uh, Bogolf, also a D100? Alright. What do I need to clear to... Uh... Uh, 10 or lower. That was a 15% chance. Oh yeah, it is 15. Either way, don't be that. I'm watching a golden retriever with no spatial awareness get stuck in my bedroom. <laughs> backing up like someone who's never driven a truck before. Uh, Alex is up. Oh boy. Um. Hey. Alright Alex, what can you do? Alex can sit back here and fire his crossbow. That's what he yep. can do. He's going to fire his crossbow with the lit, with the lit uh, bolts at the zombie. Oh God! It was just standing there. Do I have to actually roll for that, or does it happen? Um. I'm commanding these two. You have to roll, but it's really easy. Don't get a one, basically. You have lit the zombie on fire. Awesome. Well, he's also carrying oil. Yeah, that'll take about a round before the uh, the barrel starts to explode. All right. So you have a round to uh to not have everyone die. Uh, I'm gonna also have him. Uh, can I have him shift, or does he not get a shift? Uh, well he. Um, yeah, I could get a five more, or you could get a five foot shift. All right. So, Sam, you wanted me to to res you. If you res me, I have, among other things, a teleport spell. Now, here's the problem. He gets another turn before you would act. Well, he doesn't um, have another lightning bolt prepared. No, but I'm not worried about another lightning bolt. I'm worried about something else. I have no idea what this guy could pull out. Well, wouldn't me being resurrected put me at the back of the initiative? Yeah, it would put you at the bottom of the initiative. So I would go next. Oh, you would? Whoops. Conveniently, that puts you where you needed to be. So you would go right after me, then? Yep. Yep. All right, I'm going to pull out... I'm trusting you on this. I'm going to pull out... Um, your light wounds. Alright. You got 6 HPs. Uh, actually, you got more than that. It is 1d8 plus 1 per caster level, I believe, up to a maximum of 5. Let me go like, quick look up uh, Cure Light Wounds. Yep, that's correct. Yep. So... 
Nine points. Ten. Hold it. Ten I'm points. going to. Uh, roll, uh, I'm going roll to four, shift. isn't he? Yeah, it's five on the roll. And oh, four oh the... yeah, I saw six there. So nine points. That puts me at positive one. And uh, you shouldn't shift away. You, you have to come up to me to heal me in the first place. Oh, I do. I have to be there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Don't shift away. Eric, on my turn, I uh, grab Pripyat okay. and read the scroll of teleport. No, no, uh, don't do that. What about Bogolf? We can come back and get him after we've had a second. No, no, but then my, my undead are going to pretty much be they are leaderless. And then we'll have to deal with Alex and a burning zombie. The, they won't be leaderless. You, you the burning zombie them. holding a... Uh, a a now burning a cask of the burning zombie. Like, yeah, you do, you do realize that this cask is going to explode, right? Yeah, he's holding the cask of uh of light or lantern oil right now, well, which is I on can, fire. I can walk over and grab uh, Bogolf instead. Yeah. Well, it's it's creatures touched. Yeah, I can't. Do you see where I'm standing? If well, you're... no, I guess I can get both of them. Yeah. I was really right, confused. So I uh, was thinking we need to be... I don't know. Whatever. It didn't look like we were adjacent. Alright, I can grab Wait, him Can both. I grab Alex, too? Because he's adjacent to me. I, uh... Hold on. Let me look up teleport. Yeah, how does that work? I mean, the zombie's pretty much had it. When the zombie goes off, the, the guy is going to probably be dead. Oh, very definitely. He will very definitely be dead. That's gonna... Crud Bone Mail served his purpose well. I can only bring along two creatures. So mm. Alex is gonna basically turn back into a mindless skeleton. I don't think so. You still control them. Does it work like that? I have to look at the command on dead rule. As long as you maintain it, it is unlimited range, and they will be under your sway until you uh, until you willingly dismiss them, or someone else, some other jackass cleric comes along and commands them away. Oh well, in that case, I guess Alex will be fine where he is. Yep. All right. Um. First thing I'm going to need, Sam, is a teleport or is a caster level check. <laughs> can I assist in any way? Uh, this you cannot. Or conversely, if you had to use magic device, you could also make that roll. Although the caster level check is much easier. Hi, I'm sorry. Conjuration spell, so that gives me a bonus. That is actually enough to get it to go off without a hitch. Uh, now okay. you have to roll on the uh, the regular <laughs> teleportation rolls. Let's see. Um, okay. Where are you teleporting to? Um, give me a second to think about this. Um, just to be safe, let's say the entrance of the dungeon. Okay. Because we're going to be most familiar with that, probably. Yep, roll me a d100. Okay, you arrive on target. Exactly where you need to be. Awesome. And then you hear a loud boom. And then nothing. <laughs> or crud. He did. Yep. Is Alex okay? He's got the wall. Yeah, no, he should be fine. Why okay? You need a little bit of medical attention, but you're good. I already blew my... Uh, 
zero level zero spells, but we have feed him a yeah, feed spot. him a potion and uh pray you don't so choke him. Throat. Yep. Yeah, you can come too. And you can recollect or recollect everything you need to from inside the dungeon. But uh that marks the end of one this episode and two this module. So we'll see you guys awesome. next time and the next episode <laughs> will be something strange or interesting or something like that. See you guys next time.